my name is Brian from Brian Travel. I'm at the United Airlines going from San Francisco to Seoul, South Korea, Incheon South, Incheon Airport. It's been about 10 to 12 hours flight, 12 hours long from the Boeing Dreamliner. It's, and I'm at the business class, so they give you a number of different things. One is really cool convenient to say Star Wars. So I'm going to show what is inside. There's a little sleeper which is nice to walk inside the airport airplane and this small pillow and there's another large pillow that looks like this and they also would give two blankets one big blanket I think is this used to make a bed and then probably another one that kind of looks like there's something put on your top so I think all brand is Sex Fifth Avenue Anyway, it's going to be a pretty um, long flight, so it's going to take about 12 hours, 12 hours, and so I can see you next time. So business class gives a lot of space for each person. It's comfortable and comfy is great. Business class gives a lot of pillows and blankets. There's uh, two pillows, two blankets, and one sleeper. All the pillows and blankets are from Sex Fifth Avenue. It's pretty good. So many of the kids at the time would give it a Star Wars theme, which is kind of cool. And then you give it like socks, you give it a dental kit, you give it like a gear belt, all the things kind of you need on the flight. So it's kind of great and awesome. So there are definitely a lot of technology integrated into this business seat. There's a remote control and then your entertainment screen which is pretty cool and high definition. And there's seat adjustment and a plug-in for your all the things electronics. And there's the games and movies and a bunch of different things you can do here. And then I think just that you can keep it on and be not so bored. So it's great. So finally we're going to in-flight dining option so there are a lot of menus and then also there's a drink menu but what i can tell you is that as you can see that is compared to something like american line you know airline dining is kind of disappointing or you get like this nuts and then warm nuts and then i got a champagne i didn't know what kind of champagne i'm going to get to the flight attendant told me and then the, for the starter it's a salad and then the one with the duck Cold, uh, cold uh, appetizer with the duck, and there's a Star Wars, another Star Wars themes, pepper and salt. So the main menu is kind of got the ginseng chicken bowl, it's kind of disappointment, and dessert. So there's a sundae, and there's a, also cheese, and then there's a other option, but it was kind of okay. That's so great. So let's see, and then wine of course. And then for the arrival dining, I got the there are different options. There's one with the omelet, I got the just cereal and the food, food, and then uh, and then all the bread. Oh yeah, and then you'll be the business class if you can align full bed and then just fly there. So well, how was it? And we're finally here and then I think it was everything was good other than the uh, part that there's a kind of dining option wasn't so good. So service is pretty decent and then entertainment system is great. And then there are different options where you can get a the pajama, and the pillows, and blanket. And I wouldn't say that you know, um, United Airlines business class is not so bad. So I'm not sure that I'm gonna fly next time, but most of I like dedicated American uh, airline customer. But if there's a chance comes around, I will definitely go check it out. I don't mind at all. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching the video.